Add the reference image, you can find it in the description. Clear rotation, rotate 90 degrees, move it back, move it up. From the object tap press trace image to grease pencil then press OK. Move the grease pencil object to the front. Right click and convert it to Bezier curve. Delete the grease pencil object, tap to edit mode, to select the borders and delete them. Then go to each chess piece, and select the half of it and delete it. Then do that for all of them. But for the night piece select the upper half and press P to separate it. And for the other half do the same as the other pieces. Tap out of edit mode and select everything then right click, and convert it to mesh. Go back to edit mode and press P, and choose separate by loose parts. Now we need to go to each piece, and delete the line at the middle. Now we need to center the origin point of each piece, I did that by going to each piece and putting the 3D cursor to the middle vertex, then putting the origin to the 3D cursor. Then go to your object and add a screw modifier. Then add weld modifier, drag it above the screw modifier and set its value to 0.01. Then select all the other pieces, except for the knight, but keep the one we added the modifier, to be the last one you select. Then press Ctrl L and choose modifiers. Some pieces may need the origin, to be offset it a little bit. Do that by setting the origin to the upper middle point instead of the bottom one. Now to model the knight press tap to edit mode, then Ctrl M to merge, and change the merge value to 0.01. Now we are going to select each part to fill it. Extrude it in the Y axis by 0.2, then move it on the Y axis by 0.1. Go to the bottom part and apply all of the modifiers on it. Then in edit mode select the edge at the top and fill it. Then for the night P select all border edges, then bevel them. Now time to add the eyes. Add a UV sphere then scale it down to be in the size of an eye. Scale down on the Y axis, then shade smooth it, then duplicate it and move it to the other side. Then select both eyes and the body and join them together. Now we have all pieces done. It's time to model the chessboard. Add a cube. Scale it down on the Z axis by 0.1. Then move it up, so it's sitting above the red line. Now add 7 loop cuts along both axes by pressing Ctrl R. Enable wireframe view so you can see the size of each checker. And don't forget to join the night piece together. Select all pieces then scale them down, so they're roughly the same size as your checkers. Doing that from the top view may be easier. Then move them down, so they are sitting on top of the board. Then you can start positioning them as you want. I will leave the pawn in the front then grab the other pieces to the back. Now duplicate the pawn 8 times to fill the front row. And position the other pieces to their correct place. Now we have one side done, just copy and mirror them to the another side. Now that we have the model done, it's time to position the camera, then give it colors. Set the camera type to orthographic. Set the X rotation to 54 degrees and the Z rotation to 45 degrees. And for the position set the X position to 3, and the Y position to minus 3. Then go to camera setting, under the viewport display, under composition guides enable center to help us positioning our model on the middle of our camera view. Now move the camera on the Z axis, so the horizontal line is going through the center of our model. Now to zoom in and out with our camera, adjust the orthographic scale value. I will put it as 5. Now add a plane as our ground, and scale it up to fit our camera view. Now time to set up our materials. To do that add a tune shader. I will leave the one I used on the screen, just pause the video to copy it. Then to set the same material to the other pieces select them all, then select the one that has the material, then press Ctrl L, and link the material. Then to see it right view it in render view, then add a sun, rotate it by 45 degrees on the X axis, then again on the Z axis, and increase the sun strength to 5. Then go to render settings under color management, change the type from filmic to standard. The next step will be to give the other pieces the same material and duplicate it, then set the color to white. And for the, the shadow color put a grayish color, then we will do the same by selecting them all, and linking them to the last one. Then to give colors to the chessboard, select it, and in edit mode go to the top view, then select the upper faces, then go to select, and pick checker deselect. Then add two material slots, and assign the second one to the faces we already selected, then give a material to each slot. Now we are almost done, the last thing is to give the ground a color, do that by giving it the same material we used, but change its color. And remember to get the shadow color just divide the original color value by 3. The last thing to do, is to give the chessboard some thickness. 
Do that by selecting the sides and extruding along normals, and check even offset, then assign the blue material to the new faces. Don't forget to check the project file in the description, and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this.